Hi everybody, this is Alexandre Masrak of angelcartermancy.com. So today we are going to have a close look to an ancient German oracle that I've put uh, au goût du jour and these are known as the Keeper Cards. So the Keeper Cards are divination card produced during the 1880 by a German fortune teller named Madame Keeper. The deck features people and life situation of the ancient time. It's another treasure of cartomancy, like I like to call it. I've refreshed and updated this divination system, making it easy to understand. The imagery are beautifully simple and eye-catching at the same time, and will make your apprenticeship fun and playful. The Keeper cards are sisters to the Petit Le Normand. The difference is that in the Keeper cards, there is a preponderance of card depicting personage or people rather than symbols like we see in the Le Normand. So let's start our journey through these charming Keeper cards and I'm going to give you the keywords for each and every of the 36 cards. Card number one is the male person. This card relates to the male questioner. For a female querent, it will stand for her husband, a partner, a boyfriend, or any important male figure in her life. Card number two is the female person. So this relates to the female questioner, the person who is asking the question if she is a woman. And for a male querent, it will stand for his wife, his partner, girlfriend, or other important female figure in his life. Card number three is matrimony, and this card relates to strong connection, bonding, and commitment, both in your romantic relationship as well as in your business ones. It's not necessarily a marriage, but however, it will bring you know support and understanding in this relationship. Card number four is the meeting. So this card may be uh, an indication of a gathering of relatives, friends, business colleagues, or may even be encounters. And it actually announces a time of enjoyment and reconciliation and also of having fun with people you really love. Card number five is the good lord. And this card relates to a major man who could be a grandfather, a father, or an elder brother, even another man of major age. He is a good person, ready to help, and he is, you know, someone who is exceptionally wise. Card number six, the good lady. This card relates to a major female. It can be a mother, a grandmother, friendly lady, a companion, or anyone of major age. She will know what to say in order to bring peace, compassion, and tranquility to others. Card number seven, a pleasant letter. This card talks about communication in its general form, like letters, text messages, emails, and even phone calls. The surrounding card will shed more light about the news that the letter conveys. Card number eight, the false person. This is someone who is not being totally honest with you. It may be the right time to question his or her motives and find the reason why this person is being so insincere. Card number nine, a change. This relates to a change in circumstances or may even be a change of direction in all its forms. In any case, know that you will make the right choice. Card number 10, a journey. This card is usually about transport or travel. It may also lead to new avenues for you to explore. Card 11, Money Win. This is all about unexpected money. Often described as a windfall, 
It can be anything that contains an element of surprise with a lot of money attached to it. Card number 12, a rich girl. This card relate to a younger lady or a girl. It can be a daughter, a niece or a young friend. It's always a female with a comfortable position. Card number 13, a rich man. This may represent a young business person who deals in finance, looking after others' interest and security. Card number 14, sad news. This relates to sad news or event a temporary illness or problem. Not really a positive card to have in your game. Card number 15, success in love. This card announces the start of a new relationship, a relationship of love, or a simple friendship. It's a positive card to have in a love-related question. Card number 16, his thoughts. This card relates to all sorts of thoughts racing through the mind, may be caused by instability and insecurity. The solution is needed and the nearby card will hold the key. Number 17, a gift. A gift given or a gift received, join happiness in either ways. It's a time of giving and also receiving. It's also a time to be grateful. Card number 18, a small child. This card indicates a child or something quite new. It's a card of innocence, of smallness, and fragility. Card number 19, a funeral. This card means transformation rather than a literal death. It is the ending of something but with a new beginning. The other cards may indicate what is to follow. Card number 20, the house. This is your residence. This is where you live. The surrounding card will tell you under what energy the house is under. Card number 21, the living room. This relates to where you feel at home. It can be the kitchen, a craft room, an office, a computer area, a home office if you work from home. Wherever you consider is your own personal space. Card number 22, the military person. This person wears a uniform or a special garment for work. For instance, a lawyer, a policeman, a military, a nurse, a firefighter. Card number 23, the court. The court card could be about decision made or decreed by someone of authority. Card number 24, the thief. Something is being taken from you or you have lost something of importance. Card number 25, a high honor to come. This is a card that tells you that you will be acknowledged and rewarded for something. It's a form of recognition for an achievement gain. It may be in the form of a promotion at work or accepting a certificate after a course or an examination. Card number 26, Big Luck. The card of prosperity and abundance. Madame Fortune is with you and she is pouring her cornucopia of abundance upon all your ventures. Number 27, unexpected money. This is another card of money in an unexpected form, but less than the card number 11. However, it may save the day and turn the course of events to your favor. Card number 28, Expectation. This is a time of waiting for someone or something to happen. 
You need to show patience and let things unfold by themselves. Don't rush in anything. Con number 29, the prison. The court of confinement and entrapment, this card really shows. It put restriction in your actions and decision. You are not able to act freely by your own. Number 30, judicial person. This may relate to a court procedure a legal matter relating to dispute or disagreement, bringing discord in your life. It could also mean an authoritative statement of fact. Number 31. The brief illness. Allow yourself the time to rest. It is not the time to hold on your worry and it's also time to consult a doctor to heal your situation. Number 32, grief and adversity. Someone may try to bully you or put pressure on you and force you to do something you do, you do not want to. Your thought may not be clear enough to make a judgment. Worry and frustration are all around you right now. Card number 33, murky thoughts. This is a card related to stress and worry. Whatever the problem may be, your judgment is clouded. Uplift your thoughts and see things from a different perspective. Number 34. Occupation. Here is the job card, representing what you do for a living. It can suggest things that also keep you busy. As always, the surrounding card will provide more clarity. Number 35, a long road. This card relates to the distance, both geographically and in time. The surrounding card will give you more details of how this card can be applied to your situation. The last card, number 36, the hope, big water. This card represents your hopes, your dreams, and all your wishes you want to fulfill. Another meaning for this card is traveling to foreign countries. So I hope that this introduction to the Keeper Card system had bring some clarity. And remember that the more you will use the card, the more you will be at ease with your reading. Please, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, to hit the like button, Share my videos with your friend and I will see you next Wednesday, same time, same channel for another Le Normand and Keeper video.